chance to win $1 million. All they have to do is prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. It is that easy. And here is my class, Marky. Students? Yeah. But actually, I should say our two new students. That's right. This is a fifth grader first. We actually have two new classmates playing as a team because they are identical twins. <laughs> and they say two heads are better than one. Let's find out. Our new students both graduated from E.J. Marshall Elementary. One is a workman's cop adjuster. The other is a construction worker. Welcome, Chad and Corey nice Baumgart. How are you? Welcome good. to the show. Thank you. Hi, Corey. How you doing? Good. How you doing? <laughs> so, so I'm guessing this is a photo from when you were attending E.J. Marshall? Yeah. Yes, sir. We're embarrassed about it, but that's it. Which, which one is which? I'm the handsome devil on the right. Ah. I guess that makes me the ugly one on the left. Yeah. <laughs> now, they say with identical twins, sometimes you can, like, know what the other one's thinking, feel it. Do you right, guys have Right, we have, have uh, what we like to call twin tuition. So twin it's tuition. like, if he's yeah. upset, I'm upset. If he's mad, well, guess what? I'm mad, too. Really? Yeah. Right. So, do you always, like, have your arms around each other? Well, it... yeah, I, I love him. He's yeah. my best friend. I love this guy. All right, guys. Well, these are your new classmates. They're going to be taking the same test that you're taking, and we're actually going to let you cheat off of them. So pick one of them. Let's get started. Kyle! Kyle! Hey, hey, come on, Kyle! All right! All right. Here's how this is going to work. you got to agree on the same sure, answer. No problem. Lock in as one. Okay. Let me tell you how the game works. On the board, we're going to give you ten subjects. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer as a team is worth $1,000. The 10th question, should you get it right, is worth $500,000. Oh. Once we ace this test, we will give you an additional grade school question that will be worth $1 million. Now, guys, if at any point, the test gets to be too difficult. You can drop out of school, okay? okay? You can take the money that you've acquired, you can run, but before you go, you have to both promise me that both of you will look into that camera and say to the world, we are not smarter than a fifth grader. That's a deal. We got a deal? Yes, sir. All right, let's find out. Are Chad and Corey Baumgartner smarter than a fifth grader? All right, gentlemen. There's your 10 subjects. Pick your poison and let's go for $1,000. Uh, I say we go slow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, first grade spelling, then. Yeah. First grade spelling. All right. For $1,000, here is the question. The names of how many days of the week do not start with either the letter T or S? The names of how many days of the week do not start with either the letter T or S. Your classmate, Kyle, has locked in his answer. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three. All right. Uh, uh, we'll go with three. 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 You said Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Friday. Friday. You're absolutely right. You yeah. got yeah. 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 All right, guys. See how easy this is? Oh, we're nice. loving it. You got a thousand. Okay. Let's turn it into two thousand. Let's turn it in. Take another yeah. subject. Let's go with uh, first grade geography. First yeah. grade geography. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be a little strategy here. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, the $2,000 question is, true or false, including Alaska and Hawaii, there are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic Ocean. True or false, including Alaska and Hawaii, 
There are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic Ocean. Kyle has just locked in. Yeah, he his did. Answer. That was quick did. too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? What you buddy? thinking, guys? Are you trying well, to see that big map, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Well, it's including Alaska and Hawaii. Okay. So. Yeah, including Alaska and Hawaii. There are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic. True or false? Good thing is it's 50-50. Right. And let me remind you. Yeah. Let me remind you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You got a peek and a copy. Uh -huh. A peek means you can peek at your classmates' paper, decide if you want to use their answer or not. Okay. Copy means you have to take the answer they've written down. And you have a save, which means if you guys answer incorrectly, but your classmate at the podium has the right answer, you get the money, we keep rolling on down the highway. True or false, 50-50 yeah. shot. We're trying to picture that map. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, or you could walk away right now with $1,000. Oh, which... we're broke. We're going for the gusto. <laughs> yeah. There's two of us here. A 1000 won't go far. Uh, what do you think, buddy? I'm thinking false. Yeah, I'm thinking false, too. You want to go with false? Yeah, go with false. All right, uh, we're going with false. False. The Pacific Ocean borders five states. Washington, Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii. The Atlantic Ocean borders 18 states. Yeah! Absolutely right. You got $2,000. Oh, good job. Twin up. Yeah. You touched your thumbs. What is that? Uh, we call it twin up. Uh, this is how we power up. I know you guys are like, we have read. This is how we power up, believe it or not. On a daily to... basis, we have to touch each other, call each other. You know, we have to see each other on a daily basis. So, so we, yeah. Yeah, I... I love them. What do you want yeah. me to do? $2,000. Good job, thank Kyle. You, thank Thanks, you, buddy. Kyle. All right, well, they can only help you two questions at a time, so time to pick another classmate. Go ahead, you pick whatever you want. Alana. Alana. Alana, come on up here. Come on, Alana. Have you ever met identical twins before? Mm, no. No. Okay. All right. But I want to meet the Olsen twins. Oh, you want to meet the Olsen twins? Yeah. So do we. So do we. We're yeah. waiting on that. <laughs> so we have something in common. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> you got $2,000. We're about to play for five. First great questions are out of the way. Pick another subject. Um, let's go, what do you think, second grade vocabulary? Work our way up. Second grade vocabulary. Second grade vocabulary. For $5,000. Chad and Corey, here's the question. What word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction? What word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction? Alana has locked in before I could complete wow. it. And I'm glad we picked her. Uh, it's a word that has a twin meaning. I would think it's compass check. You think so? What word can mean an instrument used to draw circles? Yeah, compass, huh? I trust you, buddy. Oh boy, that could be trouble. Well, she answered this, you know what, this is fun, it's like watching Two people share a brain, yeah. you know? And we do, believe me. Yeah. I don't think I'd get through life without this guy. Uh, you know, I'm going with you, buddy. I say compass. Okay, we're going with compass. Going with compass. You're pretty confident about that one. He better be. <laughs> you want to see what your classmates said? Yeah. Sure. They said what word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction is compass, and they're right. You guys have $5,000. Yeah! Yeah! Good job. All right. Our twins are going to be playing for $10,000 when we come back. Yes. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? 
This is the first on our show. We have identical twins playing as one. Mm -hmm. Chad and Corey Baumgartner have $5,000. Yeah. We're about to play for $10,000. I know you guys brought some people here to root for yep, you today. Sure you want to introduce them? We brought our lovely mother, Nancy. Our yeah. Now, Mom, have you ever had trouble telling them apart? No. <laughs> When we were babies, nobody could tell the difference. Yeah, that's true. They were, really? Yeah, they were real identical. Do, do, do I think we have a photo? Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Right, which, which, which is which? I could flip I, a coin, Jeff. I yeah, couldn't tell yeah, you. Yeah. Really? I, I yeah. swear to you. Mom, do you know. know which one's which? Corey's on the left in the blue, and Chad's in the yellow. That's as, as close to looking identical as I've ever yeah. seen in my life. My sister and I, they couldn't tell us apart, right. but my mustache got thicker than hers. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. All right, we're down to seven subjects on the board. Pick one of them. Let's go second grade animal science. Work our way up. Animal science? We'll take second grade animal science. Second grade animal science. Let's play for $10,000. Here is the question. Cows exist in herds, while ants live in groups called what? Colonies, communities, or clusters? Cows exist in herds, while ants live in groups called what? Colonies, communities, or clusters? Right. Alana is locked in. I'm thinking colonies. You know what? I'm agreeing with you for the first time. Okay, well, <laughs> so. You know. Now you have both your cheats left. Yeah, I know. We don't agree often, so we gotta go with it. I'm gonna go with colonies. Wow. You guys agreed on this very quickly. You're hugging each other tightly. Oh, you nervous? nervous? You're yeah, feeling I mean, confident. No, you're nervous? I'm a little nervous. Really? Well, you gotta be smart as a fifth grader here. Guess what? You are. You yeah. have $10,000. Yeah. Ants do live in colonies. Guys, oh, man. this next question is a big one. Yeah. Because if you had flunked out of school up until this point, you would have left us with nothing. Right. You get this question right, the worst thing that can happen today is the two of you walk out of here with $25,000. Come on, Jeff. We're okay with that, Jeff. We're all right with that. All right, Alana has got to return to the classroom. Thank you, Alana. Thank you. Time to pick yeah. another classmate. Yeah. I would think so. We'll take Spencer. Spencer! Come on, Spencer. Come on, Spencer. $25,000, guys. Come on, boys. Pick a subject. Let's win $25,000. Good grade math. Or, or science. Third grade math? Yeah. We'll go with third grade math. Third grade math. The $25,000 question is, an isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? Spencer locked in before I could repeat the question. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because I'm a little clueless. Uh... I am too, buddy. I would now, do you remember triangles? Oh, I do. Um, I want to say it's three equal sides, but I'm not I would sure. think two equal sides. You want to do a cheat? You want to do a, a peek? Or do you, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, you get the cheats for a reason. I mean, yeah. if it can help you, we want to help you. Um, An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? Uh, what do you think, Jen? I'd say two. You say two? I mean, you guys can walk away right now with $10,000. No, we need to get to that twenty-five grand mark. Yeah. Okay, well, do you, do you but if you miss it, then we're... you're leaving with nothing, okay? Right. Yeah. Go ahead and peek. Want to go for peek? Yep. You're locked in. Well, if we get this right, right, twenty-five grand, that's a minimum we leave with. So, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll take our peek. You want to take your peek? <laughs> Let's recap. You said two. two. And I said Chad three. said three. Let's see what Spencer said. Spencer said one. So wow. He says one. You say two. You say three. Yeah. What do you think? Well, it says how many equal sides, and 
that's plural, so I would think it'd be two, and you think it's three, so gosh. What do now, you think? now, here's another option. You could pick one of your answers that you're the most comfortable with, and if you're wrong and he's right, he could still save you. Mm -hmm. I still think it's two. Yeah. I'll trust you, buddy. I mean, uh, you know, if he did get a ride with one, we're in. But if not, we're taking a long walk home. Yeah, we are. I say we go with two. What do you think? I trust you. Trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Oh, that's trouble. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, we are going to go with two. I'm feeling good about that. I hope so. I mean, there's two not. of you. Yeah. Hey. And you know what? I got to tell you, it's it's amazing that you trust him that much. Yeah, I do. You went against your own instinct. You went against what this kid in elementary school said because you trust him. That's right. I will tell you this. Spencer's wrong. Okay. The rest of them are right. Do you want to see what they said for $25,000? Yeah, we do. They said... Oh, this is stressful, Jeff. An oh. isosceles triangle has exactly two equal sides. We're going to be playing for $50,000 yeah. when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestants. Chad and Corey Baumgartner have $25,000. Oh, yeah. We are playing for $50,000. All right, pick another subject. And Corey, here's the deal. It's, this is almost the freebie question, because right now you got $25,000. Even if you miss this, you have $25,000. Right, right. It's a freebie, so no need sure. to walk away from this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's go. Third grade life science. Third grade life science. Third grade life science. Chad and Corey, for $50,000, here's the question. Russet and Yukon Gold are varieties of what vegetable? Russet and Yukon Gold are varieties of what vegetable? Spencer has locked in. I, potato. Yeah, I'm with you. Are you with me? Oh, I'm with you. Boom! Potato. There you go. Man, you guys didn't even hesitate on no. that. Because usually the higher the money gets, I tell people, slow down, don't answer too quickly. <laughs> yep. Because we got 50,000 taters riding on this oh, one. Oh, oh, boy. A lot of taters. You want to see what Marky wrote? I mean, it doesn't, it, it sure, can't, sure. It can't sure. save you, but it might make you feel better about your answer. <laughs> 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 Sweetie, that's beautiful. You spell like Dan Quayle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pado, Padoedios. I love those Yukon Gold Padoedios. <laughs> we do too. Good news is spelling doesn't count. She's right. You're right. Yes! You got fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars, guys. Nice work, Spencer. Spencer was right as well. All right. You are down to two classmates and four subjects, gentlemen. I would think Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, right, come on Jacob. up here. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. All right, Jacob, these guys have four subjects left. Which ones would you pick? Um, probably world geography and fifth grade history. Well, let's go with uh, geography. world geography. Fourth grade world geography. Yeah. Fourth grade world geography. Yeah. Guys. We're in the big money territory. This is worth $100,000. Oh. Yes. Corey and Chad, here is the $100,000 question. Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Andes, Alps, 
Himalayas. Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Andes Alps or Himalayas? Jacob has locked in his answer. Oh, I got to admit, Corey, I don't know, man. A or B, I'm thinking, but I'm thinking Alps, I bet. All right, you have your copy left, which means you can copy his paper, but you have to go with the answer he wrote down. It's a one in three chance. You could guess, and if you're wrong and he's right, he could save you. Or you could walk out of here with $50,000. 25,000 a piece. Oh, buddy. It's a good oh, day's buddy. work. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. We came here to take this whole thing, so. You want to go with B out? I mean, hopefully he has it right. If not, we, we leave here with 25 grand, but. I think it's A or B. You think it's A or B? I think it's B. Do you think? Do you know or do you think? Oh, I think. I don't know, yeah. I'm just looking at the map of Mount Everest in here. It's a. Uh... <laughs> Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah neither do we. And yeah. apparently uh, neither do you. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. What are you thinking, guys? Well, I'm thinking Alps. I, I don't know why. I mean, uh, I'm going with you, buddy. You're going with I'm me? I'm riding to the end. Let's yeah, go we Alps. are. We're going to choose Alps. is located in what mountain range? Andes, Alps, or Himalayas? You said Alps. You are wrong. Your second guess was A, which is also incorrect. If he rode Himalayas, you've got $100,000. All right. Pizza party on us, Jacob. Let's do it. If he did. You have 25. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. For $100,000, Jacob said. Chad and Corey Baumgartner have $100,000. Oh, yeah. You know, this is kind of fun to watch you guys playing as a team. I mean, you don't disagree with each other very much. Well, we've had to share all of our lives, yeah. so we don't have a choice. You okay, know? well, we started with 10 subjects. We're down to three. Oh, it. Love it. Pick one of them. Let's try to win $175,000. Well, what, what's, your, what's your best subject out of those three? Out of those three? <sighs> That's how I feel about it. We're exactly. working on a pizza party, so. It's either you know. social studies or history. I can't really make up you my know, mind. We're going to go fourth grade social studies. Fourth grade okay. social studies. <laughs> Everybody seems scared of the fifth grade literature. Yeah, we're almost there. For $175,000. Here is your fourth grade social studies question. According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves as president of the U.S. Senate? According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves, he has locked in his answer, as president of the U.S. Senate? What are you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. That's yeah. <laughs> I love your honesty. And I'm trying to be. Um, what do you think, buddy? What cheats do we have left? We have. Uh, You've got copy. your copy left. You used your save. Jacob yeah. saved you on the last one. Yes, he did. he did. Oh, Jacob. Yep. Now he locked in quickly. Uh, that's why I was thinking that we could go with copy and we could be rolling to $175,000. I'd like to see you guys win $175,000. You know, uh, we're gamblers by nature. I think we're going to go with copy. We're going to go with copy. 
Oh, boy. If you had to guess, if you had to guess, what would you guess? I would let Chad guess, because I have not a clue. Can you name any political office? <laughs> well, first of all, let's break it down. Do you know what the executive branch is? No, that's why we're relying on the pizza party with Jacob. That's <laughs> right, so I don't know. No clue? No clue. Mom, do you have a clue? The vice president. You think vice president? That's what I think, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, Mama's right. I love you, Mama. Unfortunately, you knowing the answer doesn't do them any good. The only person that matters in the room right now is this 10-year-old kid. Oh. Come on, Jacob. Please, Jacob. Let's see what his classmates wrote down. According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves as president of the U.S. Senate? The class said, Vice President, President, Vice President, Vice President. You know, we live in a country where the majority rules. Same with this class. The majority is right. It is vice president. Let's hope Jacob's right. You gamblers. You are gamblers. Oh, yeah. You're two full-grown men that risk $100,000 on what a 10-year-old kid said. Yeah. We trust him. For $175,000, look at this board. Jacob said, Vice President! He has just won you a hundred thousand and a hundred and seventy-five thousand. Great work, Jacob. Hey. Unfortunately, he's got to return to the classroom. Good job, good job. High five. Guys, you've used all your cheats, so the kids can't help you anymore. Two subjects left. I have an idea which one you're going to take. Do you? We're Everyone's gonna... scared of literature, but you know, I, I think we are too, so let's go fifth grade history. Yeah, I knew yeah. you were going to say fifth grade history. <laughs> Will identical twins Chad and Corey Baumgartner go all the way to a million dollars? Find out when we come back. We are breaking all the rules tonight. We have identical twins playing as one. We're letting them cheat off each other. But before we go any further, Chad and Corey, sure. we have two girls that want to wish you good luck. Okay. Come on out, Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh. Come on out here. Hey, sirs. <laughs> I was ready for them. Guys, you ready to see the $300,000 question? Yes, we are. I was ready to see the Olsen twins, yeah. but we'll go for it. This is real money. Yes, oh, sir. For $300,000, the fifth grade history question is, what former U.S. president was the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize? What former U.S. president was the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. We got another political question, guys. And those are the classes we ditched, so that's a problem. Do not hit this no. button. Get your hand away. Oh, let's stand back. Yeah. Let's talk this out. Let's, yeah, let's do. Let me tell you about your cheats. They're gone. Great. Right. No, you You've got $175,000 that you can walk out of here with right now. 
If you don't know it, I'm not ashamed to admit they're smarter than us, Chad. I know it doesn't divide as easily as 300. Right. right. But we can get a calculator and okay. do the math. Okay. We trust right. you, Jeff. Good. Um, what are you thinking? Well, to be honest with you, Jeff, I don't think either one of us know it. And uh, I think we might take the money and run. You think you want to drop yeah. out of school? I think we might want to. If you want to drop out of school, if you guys are sure that's what you want to do, you can lock in that answer. We have no cheats left. If you answer incorrectly, you drop back down to $25,000. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think we should probably drop out of school. You think so? Yeah, I think we should drop out. I don't know this one. And uh, I think we should leave. That's a lot of money. I think you're right. All right, let's go ahead. Let's drop out. Okay, guys, you want to lock that in? <sighs> yeah, let's lock it in. Yeah. I was born first. I'll do it. Drop it out of school. High five, baby. Come on. Come on. That is a lot of money. That is. No idea. Not even the foggiest idea. Right. Does Franklin Roosevelt make you feel any better? Uh, no. Not much. No. Yeah. No. Good, because that's not the right answer. Yeah. It was actually Theodore Roosevelt uh, was the first yeah. U.S. president to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906. Yeah. It ain't a million. Yeah. But you guys are going home with $175,000. But remember the little deal we had up front? There's the camera. We're identical, identical twins. We, we have to cheat off each other, other, and we're still not as smart as a fifth grader. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's meet our new classmate. She is a 31-year-old waitress from Indianapolis, Indiana, and she attended Lakeside Elementary. Welcome, Jennifer Luckett. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome to our classroom. Thank you. And I'm guessing this is a picture of you at Lakeside? Yes, that is. Very cute. A lot of time on the that's, curling iron back yeah, then. Yeah, that's the worst one. Well, welcome to our class. These are your classmates, so pick one of them, and let's get started. All right. I'm going to pick... Marky, come on up here, Marky. Hello, Marky. Jennifer, at any time, if the test proves too difficult, you may drop out of our class. You can take the money you've earned and you can run, but before you leave, you and I have to have a little deal. You'll look into the camera and tell the entire world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I hope I don't have to say that. Okay, I hope you don't either. I hope you win. <laughs> One million dollars. Let's find out. Is Jennifer Luckett smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> All right, Jennifer, pick your first subject. Okay. Marky, what's your strong subject? Either grammar or measurement. I'm gonna go with uh, third grade grammar. Third grade grammar. Our one thousand dollar question is. The sentence, Alana always ate anchovies, is an example of which of the following? Alliteration, future tense, or compound sentence? The sentence, Alana always ate anchovies, is an example of which of the following? Alliteration, future tense, or compound sentence? Your classmate, Marky, just locked in her answer. What are you thinking? All right. Well, uh, Atlanta always ate. Eight is past tense, so that's not future tense. Um, a compound sentence is uh, two sentences in one. OK. Um, alliteration. I don't remember alliteration, um, but it's uh, I, future tense. It's not future tense. It's not a compound sentence. So it has to be, has to be alliteration. You want to lock in I'm that a, answer? I'm going to lock in. Please be alliteration. It is alliteration. You got a thousand bucks.
pick another subject and let's go for 2,000. Second grade measurement. <laughs> Jennifer, the $2,000 question is, if Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulders, they are two and a half yards high, how many feet is that? If Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulder, they are two and a half yards high. How many feet is that? Okay. Do you want me to have Jacob and Spencer do this? I yes, mean, that'll help. Please. Marky has locked in her answer. What are you thinking, Jennifer? Well, I'm thinking, uh, I want to just say the length of a football field and be done with it. Uh, <laughs> That's some tall boys. Um, well, it's like 5289 feet in a yard or something like that. I could be way off. Um, two and a half yards. And I, I took a chemistry class, too, and that was one of the... So you my learned tutor, this in chemistry class? Yeah, my tutor is going to kill me now. Where did you go to school? TCC. <laughs> in Texas, TCC. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Sounds like you were homeschooled and you were there by yourself. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lock in a peak. I'm gonna lock in a peak. <laughs> okay. You want a peak? <laughs> if Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulders, they are two and a half yards high. How many feet is that? Your classmate Marky said 78. There's 352 feet in a yard. So what do you think? Um, you can go with Marky's answer, you can go with your answer. How many feet is that? 78 feet. I'm going with your answer. You wanna lock that in? decided to go with her answer, which was 78. 78. The basic question here really is how many feet are in, are in two and a half yards? Right. How many feet are in one yard seems to be the big stumbling block. It is. Does three ring any kind of a bell? Yeah. Three feet, you, yeah. you had 352, which is close to the days in a year. And you had 52, which were weeks in a year. And I know it's a chemistry problem. <laughs> two and a half yards, if there's three feet in a yard, two yards is six feet, half a yard is one and a half feet, which makes seven and a half feet. I am sorry, Jennifer, seven and a half is the correct answer. And you're leaving here with nothing. And I want everybody to win a million dollars, but I gotta tell you, that was the most entertaining zero <laughs> we have ever had. Will you do me a favor? Will you look in the camera and tell the world? My name is Jennifer, and I learned something. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.